हर्षवर्धन बाटकुले लॉयर एडवोकेट आर्टिस्ट एडिटर पब्लिशर मेनी मैन मेनी रोल्स इन वन टेल एस अबाउट योर मैगजीन सर्च बिजनेस गोवा Business Goa is uh, Goa's only business magazine. You know, when we started, it was 2009 July. We just completed uh, 14 years, and uh, I would like to consider it to be a success in terms of content as well as commercially. Uh, when we started out, we weren't given so much of a chance because. Traditionally, magazines or publications go always had the backing of some big house, uh, commercial house, or you know, usually a mining company. But we were neither of this. But I have an advertising background, and I knew how to make this work. And the, I had no illusions that to make good content work, you need advertising. And I never lost focus of that side. And, I'm here to tell the story. What were the biggest uh, challenges you faced? The challenges I would I would like to say that the challenges have been self-inflicted. Have been self-inflicted. The challenge that we is not to think big. I mean, we are still in the process of of uh, finding our way around. But I guess uh, there are not really too many challenges. Not not to think big is a good thing or a bad thing. You're saying uh, we haven't thought big, and okay. that's a bad thing. Okay. Okay. So we could do much more, and we are in the process of doing it. But it's if it's taken 14 years, then it's a very long time to think big. Yeah, sustaining is tough. Sustaining is tough. Sustaining is uh, I won't say it's tough, uh, but I mean not for you, but generally. But for me, I I feel that COVID was a big uh, big uh, setback. Not a setback. COVID was a moment where we could define ourselves. And if it was we, a good thing. It was an amazing thing for us because we were the only magazine in Goa, which came out in print throughout COVID in the newsstand, and we got paid advertisements for that. I see. I mean that's something which is unbelievable, and I would like to believe that it is, it is the value which our advertisers saw in us over the years, and because I'm not the kind of guy who will go uh, after advertisements, you know, uh, without any kind of value proposition. I see. So. Um, I think the business magazine, the business community saw value in it and continue to see value in it. And I think so that's been a factor which has been determinant of why the magazine is successful. First, first this full debate about ad-driven uh, print magazines are they still viable? Because there is a full jury going out on this. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Uh, what has happened in Goa is there's a very clear-cut cleavage between the people who. Drive advertising and the people who drive content. Okay. And they don't meet. I see. I would like to believe that I am the middle path. I I understand both. But traditionally, it has been thought that there should be a separation. There should be a Berlin Wall. There are no there are there are no traditions left anymore. The the game has changed totally. Okay. The game is largely digital. Uh, there's also but having said that, I feel so a market like Goa is a beautiful market because it still supports print. Look at the number of daily newspapers. And I don't think anybody is uh, posting losses, you know. Everybody is doing well. And uh, some have closed down. Some have been on the point of closing down. So again, that is that is for not being able to see the market properly. You know, everybody finds way to survive. Everybody finds way to create their own niche. And I think so. Once you develop that niche, and that niche becomes your value, there is very little chance for you to falter unless you falter on your own. In despite everything, because I mean. You 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 are you in spite of all the opportunities you falter. You do sometimes you do because you know you, you forget the bigger picture yeah. or you forget why you are there in the first place or what made you. I mean, there's a big saying which says keep the main thing the main thing. You know it sounds it may sound very trivial but then once you start looking at it deeper there's a, there's a reason why you are there there's a reason why your product is accepted by. Certain people that are or readers or advertisers or subscribers, there's a certain value attached to that particular thing. If you keep on building on that value and make make your ecosystem, your advertisers, your readers, your subscribers, your writers, your contributors, to go along with you and not lose focus of it, then that, that, I think there is a there is a mantra over there. Uh, one very charming story you've told us. If you repeat, mind repeating, don't mind repeating it again. How you entered journalism? Ha, huh, so. The cricket story. Yeah, and your neighbours and Kaka Singhbal. Yeah, so uh, I won't say that was uh, 
how I entered, but that was a great influence. Okay. So Kaka Singh Bal was my neighbor. Kaka Singh Bal, you know. G R Singh Bal, the former. Also used to write as yeah. Bal Singh. So in Navin Times and then in West Coast, West Coast and then Stamps. in uh, so in Indian Express. So the West Coast time uh, take take route. Though I was very very small, in but I knew of the very famous people who used to come to visit him. Many who were contributors, many who. Were His journalists. office was your neighbor, neighbor so in your neighborhood. So, so basically, there was a very a very small land between an office in those days. And okay. And the residence largely because the West Coast time was from Margao. Correct. So it was a Margao based paper. Correct. But Kaka was in Panjim. Action was in Panjim. Yeah. The Reporting. assembly was in Panjim. And the political news was driven from Panjim. So although the paper was in Margao because it was owned by the Timlos, yeah. Pantron Timlos Company, yeah. uh, Kaka was the voice. The Kaka was like the bureau. Yeah, he was, he was the, the bureau, he, bureau chief. He was a bureau chief, but he, right. was, he was largely the bureau also. Yeah, you know because pe people would come there with stories. First, we were on the point of uh, sorry, huh? huh? We no, were on, I couldn't hear it. We were on the point of you. Uh, Being influenced by West Coast, uh, not West Coast, but Kaka generally. J R Singh Bal. J R Singh Bal. Gurudas. Also, because what ha what happened is that uh, there would be a lot of publications coming to his house, largely mm -hmm. unopened. This is in the as we get ready for our final round. Government quarters. This is part of colony. Part of colony. Enjoy a round of refreshment. You were next door neighbors, and uh, I was literally I in their house because both my parents were at work, so I was in their care. The Parma book. Yeah. The Parma is a public uh, is. the publication of the ghag the goa heritage action group and this has been our um, the latest one which we brought out last year and it is based on uh, music music in goa over the last few centuries so, uh, i would urge you to have a look at it and maybe Get that got you started that got you thinking that thinking uh, 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 interested in in uh, own, media because the articles are really yeah. really uh, very good But and i'm sure it's of course today we are here quiz. at a quiz Next and quiz you and a few others including rajiv de silva are like the fathers of quizzing in goa and have kept it going for a long long time and i think it's very important for people to be well well read Absolutely. Um, what what inspired you into entering quizzing and taking it so seriously? So uh, entering quizzing was largely in school when we used to take part in. But generally, the, the you reading, had some. You had some. The reading habit was the reading habit was very the, the reading habit was very strong. I see. Right from my childhood, and also that there were very interesting programs like quiz time. I don't, I don't know if you quiz remember. Quiz time on on Doordarshan. Doordarshan, and that was Siddharth Basu's quizzing yeah. was actually quite a quite an important. Uh, think for the viewer watch the program because there was no facilities that time to record and stuff yeah. watch the program then dissect it yeah. actually write down the questions keep it for ourselves i see and in class we would we would you know dissect it this is 80s this is 80s mid or late mid mid 80s mid 80s reading habit was still going strong very very strong reading habit is still going strong so far as i am concerned but then no uh, i mean you all are exceptions you all are exceptions i mean there are few exceptions as far as the general So reading habit, the medium has moved. People now consume a lot of news, consume influences, but maybe on social media where influences are already given to you. The beauty of reading is that you can visualize. Two people may be reading the same line, same page, same word, and they may be thinking of two different things or many different things. That is the magic of reading. So today you are surfing more than reading. You are surfing. You are getting influences directly told to you. What like an image? An image is provided to you by say television or a post. Or a you know a video. Tell us your quizzing journey in Goa. When did it start? You, I know you all won these prestigious prizes at the national level yeah, also. So, uh, I'm also interested in uh, part of a very niche section of quizzing called business quizzing, which has given us more uh, success and fame. If you if you may say so. At the All India level, that was uh, which quiz? So that's Tata Crucible and Brand Equity quiz. Two, Both you all won the quizzes. first prizes. So we won the national championship Tata Crucible, which is a huge huge thing. But for a team from goa especially yeah especially so the other good thing is that tata crucible had a goa around which they said is because of us i see yeah so they they thought that there was a quizzing ecosystem in goa and that they should is there a quizzing ecosystem oh, there is a fantastic ecosystem and now it's growing it's growing with pub quizzes etc i don't really mind pub in the sense so people go to a pub and then there's a quiz that's happening i see so drive sales for a pub but it's also an, an exciting event it's like a musical or, okay. or like a karaoke but you have a quiz okay But that's happening, which is very interesting. And you all have been keeping this going for how many years? So the quiz club is now 15. It's 2008 one, and uh, 
lot of credit goes to Rajiv and Anirudh Sen Gupta because they have had the quiz club together. The beauty is that the quiz club doesn't have any layers, there's no uh, hierarchy. There's no hierarchy, but there is an unwritten code of yeah. conduct, and there's the idea is that people meet to quiz to learn something. Calcutta would be the capital of quizzing in it India. It is. It was capital, just like how Calcutta was the capital of India, and then it things moved to Delhi. So uh, quizzing also. Quizzing moved to Bangalore. Bangalore and, and South. Yeah. So KQA, the Karnataka Quizzing Association, is considered to be the the premier body of quizzing. I see. You think it's very important for a place like Goa to get more in, more deep into quizzing? It's it's all driven by the kind of people who are who are there. You know. If they have a sense of inquiry, if they have a sense of knowledge, if they, if they don't believe whatever they read on WhatsApp, uh, I guess that's where the root of quizzing lies, to know more, to find the real fact beyond facts. Thanks so much. Very interesting. Pleasure. We went from we went from your magazine to your entry into journalism and to quizzing. And there are many other things we could speak of. One is your many career shifts, but we will. We will. We will. We will. Thanks.